was shocked to, today in the morning when I woke up and I learned that these two journalists from Reuters have been imposed a sentence of seven years of jail. I think the, the, the information they gave on the massacre was of public interest. And I think also that all the process, the trial was a travesty of justice. Myanmar's rocky record on human rights has frequently found itself in the spotlight and now a controversial verdict has once again turned the world's attention on the country. A court has sentenced two journalists to seven years in prison for violating a law on state secrets. Wa Lone and Kia So O were investigating the army's alleged killings of men from the persecuted Rohingya ethnic minority in northern Rakhine state. The two Reuters reporters were then arrested carrying official documents, but both claim to be innocent and say they were framed in a bid to silence them. Well, to discuss this, let's speak to the attorney representing the jail journalists, Kin Maung So in Yangon. He's a member of the Independent Lawyers Association of Myanmar. And in Bangkok, we have Nyo Ong Mint. He's a former member of Myanmar's ruling party, the National League for Democracy. Gentlemen, thank you very much for joining us. Nyo Ong Mint, let me start with you. Do you believe that the sentencing was just and fair? First of all, I like uh, I don't really want to uh, criticize the judgment. But, you know, um, also that the, the, these two journalists I know personally, and then they are very nice people and they are very active and, you know, last five years, and then they follow that the news. But, you know, in this case, that the um, this is more like kind of, you know, uh, political as well as the uh, the very sensitive at the 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 west uh, northwest uh the rakhine you know uh, the the conflict situation in this case that you know uh, first i thought that it was like kind of you know uh they might have a, like a very light sentence but that's it the two controversial and two uh split it in that the public opinion that i found it last 24 hours and then you know some journalists and liberals and other, uh, the democratic, uh, the uh, uh, principles, uh, uh, people who believe that the, the current government has been uh, been improving a lot of the democratization and rule of law. But it was a shock. But uh, the other side that the, the public uh, opinion, you know, majority thought that, you know, uh, the this is the, uh, the, they created the problem of the, the situation because some people pointed out that the Hindu community has been slaughtered, the whole village has been, you know, uh, you know, killed, and then, you know, so more than 100 people killed. But the writers or other international base, uh, the, the media never cover why that's the question. Okay, so you're giving some. I guess, context for flavor of public of opinion towards the end of that. And perhaps we'll have more time to look at that. But interesting to hear this view from you, because we've had you on the program before, and this is probably the most critical I've ever heard you uh, of authorities in Myanmar, which fascinates me. And we'll come back to you in a moment. Kin Mong Zhou, as the lawyer of yes. the two men, they believe they were framed. The government says, listen, state secrets... You undermine national security, we put you in jail. Tell me what the defense is and how you feel about the sentencing. Uh, the sentencing, the, the verdict by the trial court is very disappointing. Disappointing not for the lawyers, not only for the lawyers, it's disappointing not for the accused, the two journalists. It's disappointing for the whole of Myanmar, for, for the whole country, and it's disappointing for democracy and establishing democracy in the country, and it's disappointing for the rule of law, and it's disappointing for the freedom of expression, and it dis it's disappointing for the press freedom. Therefore, right. it's disappointing for a, 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 any party, any so, corner. Okay, yeah. so Nyo On Mint, is the lesson that if you report on these, as you mentioned, sensitive issues, you're going to go to jail. So stay away from it. Don't talk about it. 
It uh, it depends uh, because you know the um, when the U.S. government has been uh, sentenced the, the the lady of, of the uh, leaking to the WikiLeaks for the twenty five years in jail. So that uh, depends on the people how your country should be shielded by the uh, the, uh, the 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 uh, you know law and order. You know that I I heard that the, the uh, some you know um, uh, the rumors saying that you know the uh, two gentlemen. Is trying to get it like information, and then um, and then they are trying to uh, because you know the, that's a very critical moment. Okay. Some you know okay. Uh, but, okay. Yeah, can, we, course, can we put WikiLeaks that's... aside for a second, right? Because okay, you, so you've given um, an analogy and a comparison there. We have a situation where the two go and report on an issue of the alleged killings of ten Rohingya in Indian. They go to jail. They're in jail now for seven years. During that time that they were on trial, the military actually came out and said, yes, we did do it, and we did kill those, those people. Doesn't that make a mockery of the whole system? I think uh, because of the, uh, you know, the, the Indian village uh, happened was that uh, that's an ambush. It started from the, the, the Bengalis or Rohingya, what we call, you call that the Rohingyas. And the, um, the people were, the, the army convoy were attacked, and then that's that's the uh, the rule of engagement. They thought that because the government claimed that the the author is that the uh, the terrorist. But I'm I'm pretty sure that uh, we the country like Myanmar doesn't have any knowledge of the of what is a terrorist, how they are, and then it's a civilian, how they like you know okay. holding a arm but again, or they have. Let, let, let me simplify yeah. this, right? Because okay, you're you're providing context and a justification for the killing, you're saying they thought they were terrorists, right? We can discuss that to the ends of the earth, but I don't think we have time. I didn't, hold uh, on. You know, the, hold on. I, I just, yeah, I just, I just like to okay. clarify that it was at the extrajudiciary killing. I really oppose it. Okay. They already sentenced and they have been jailed. Okay. Let me ask you, Kin Mongzo, about yeah. the claim that the two men were framed by the police about receiving sensitive documents in a restaurant. Tell me a bit more about that and why you are so convinced that they were framed. Yes. Uh, the, uh, at the very first year, the Walong and Joshua Wu, who has informed uh, uh, through their families, through their wives, yeah, uh, do, uh, do we, as lawyers, about that frame up and they said they were framed. At first, I, I am a little bit uh, skeptical, skeptical about it. You know? uh, I doubt it a, a little bit you know? because uh, maybe they put it as a reason for the arrest and uh, they really chased uh, unlawfully about uh, those, uh, the, the the, the policeman and or trying uh, to bribe or something like this, but uh, when it, in the process of the hearing and the uh, cross examining the prosecution witnesses, I am convinced that the Wallons claim that they were framed up, they were set up, okay. uh, is right, and then the. Even the prosecution witness, a very important prosecution witness, police officer of the rank of uh, the major, uh, Moya Nai, appeared in front of the court, all clad in uniforms. Uh, and then he said, all, all those things are set up. He, his words, his testimony in front of the court clearly coincide. It's with Wallon's statement. Understood. But before the court, yeah. Okay. And right after he testified, the next year he was in not in the uniform. He was in the prison uh, uniform with white colors and with handcuffs and with the, the foot chains like this. So, right. how can he change like this? He is the, the testimony that the real reliable testimony that they were. Understood. Okay, okay, yes. okay. Uh, and that's an interesting point that you make. Nyo Onmin, very finally, the UN Secretary General has asked Myanmar and has urged authorities in Myanmar to review their decision.
Do you think that that's a fair call for authorities to review this decision, this conviction of seven years in prison for the two journalists? I think, uh, you know, I'm really, because, you know, the Wallow is a, a very, you know, uh, close and we, we look like a kind of the, uh, the friends and uh, I'm really sorry for their families and I'm very sorry for the, the Guang Jomo, uh, Go Go Jo So as well. But you know the I think uh, the um, uh, the the government uh, some uh, because you know I just like you know uh, the out of the country for a week and then uh, I heard that uh, the that's a lot of you know the jury, uh, justice system in Myanmar should be reviewed because of the uh, interference from the other uh, the, the the branches like uh, executive in the, you know some some rumors saying that. Uh, the uh, the verdict day was been postponed for so many reasons, and then you know of course you know the uh, they should have uh, because you know the from the government side because they are worried that the, if they free the uh, these two gentlemen then that's going to be future another you know uh, involvement of that you know uh, buying that the information or stealing or, you know, right now, because I admitted that the, the our, our country doesn't have any rule of law. That's a problem. Okay. Okay. Well, uh, we'll bring you back on the show to unpack that a bit more. But unfortunately, I'm out of time. I have to move on. But it's been good to talk to both of you. I hope you both come back onto the program. Kim Mangzhou and Nyo Onmin. Oh, yes. Thank you very much.